every single Total Drama intro rang. If there's one thing Total Drama is most famous for, it's definitely the theme song. And throughout the seasons of Total Drama, we have seen different variations of the openings for each season. And since surprisingly no one has done this before, I'm gonna take a crack at it and rank every single opening for each season of Total Drama. Every intro that I mention here will be ranked based on theme song, animation, and how well it accomplishes at being an opening in general. If you want to see me talk about more things Total Drama and things like this Venture Camp, leave a like and let's try to get to 10 10,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get straight into the ranking. Despite how much I generally like this season, Redonkulous Race here is gonna have to take last. The opening for this season is 20 seconds long, which doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but this intro doesn't even try to take advantage of everything that's done within the season. Normally, a Total Drama intro would show off every single character in some way, shape, or form, with some interesting animation going on in the background. But here, they decide to take a more general approach. Compared to every other intro, this one's kind of just on the boring side. There's no catchy music or wacky animation going on. I'm fine with a Total Drama intro doing something a little different, but but here it just kind of comes out a little generic. Still does a good job at being an intro and fitting the theme of the season, but it just doesn't do much outside of that. Now I think the answer is plain to see. Yes, I decided to include Total Drama Rama's intro in here, and even crazier, I'm not gonna put it in last place. I know what you're thinking, putting Total Drama Rama above Redonkulous Race, I'm going to see for your entire house, Butcher. <laughs> Total Drama Rama is the worst thing that ever happened to the Total Drama franchise. There's no doubt about it, but if we're looking at its intro in the perspective of just looking at it as an intro, it doesn't do a horrible job. Okay, f*** me. In all seriousness, I gotta say, I actually kinda like this one. The way all the characters are animated, it's goofy and charming. Not to mention, and every scene is transitioned to very nicely and smooth. And the music isn't that bad. <laughs> I actually find it pretty catching, obviously not on the same level as I Want to Be Famous. There's no actual lyrics or whatever, it's just baby gibberish, but it's still got a bouncy preschool feel to it that fits the overall theme for this godforsaken show. Obviously, the reason why it's ranked at second last place is because, well, it's total drama rama. At the end of the day, it's just not Nose Brad's making annoying noises for a song. Let's move on to number seven. I wanna be After being starved from a new Total Drama season for so long, I genuinely wondered what an intro would look like for a new, genuine season that, 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 that wasn't this. And when the Total Drama reboot was announced, while I was convinced it would be another short intro, I was excited to see what kind of ideas they would put into a new opening for the season. Hey, what's up? I'm here to slay. Don't know why the rest even bother to stay. Yeah, this intro has an outstanding amount of problems. First of all, what the hell are these Nigga, lyrics? What the hey, what's up? I'm here to slay. Who wrote this? A Facebook? Bomb? The rest of the song's lyrics just feel so awkwardly placed compared to the original theme song. It's not even me being blinded by bias either. I'm open to a new theme song as long as it's creative and flows well. But this is just not great. I really like the approach of the new instrumental and beat of the song as a whole. I think this instrumental was done really well. They didn't completely change it and it's not too far from the original. Yet it's still new and fresh and keeps that bumping personality. But these lyrics honestly almost just ruin the song for me as a whole. However, this isn't the only problem with the intro. The animation doesn't feel as fleshed out and chaotic as I was hoping for it to be. I mean, compare the scene where the camera goes up the hill and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Not to mention, in every past whole drama intro, there's a recurring trend that each intro follows. Every character has their own scene and appears at least once before the campfire segment starts. This is something rather small, but something that I still appreciated in every Total Drama intro. It added some balance. In the Total Drama reboot, however, they just don't do this as a whole. Why? It's awkward. There's some characters that are just completely left out in the the first half of the intro, and you don't see them until the bonfire scene. No other intro has done this aside from this one, and it kind of just comes across as a little lazy and disappointing. The scenes in this one are lame and don't transition to each other very nicely. It just doesn't do much for me, and it doesn't help that season two completely reuses this intro as well. Let's move on to number six. I wanna live close to the sun. Oh, pack your bags cause I've already the intro for Total Drama All-Stars is gonna take number six on this list. I'm obviously not the biggest fan of this season, but this intro is just okay. This is the intro, however, that started the trend of making the theme song shorter, being trimmed down from one minute long 
to 20 seconds long. Now, obviously this was done for a reason and it's not the creator's fault. Cartoon Network themselves wanted this intro shorter so that they could fit more ads when airing Total Drama. I'm pretty sure this is why most cartoon intros are shorter nowadays. And while it's pretty unfortunate, the crew still had to find a way to make an intro in 20 seconds. You can tell it was a lot harder to make every character appear in this opening. But yet, it was still done fairly well. Yes, most of them are kind of just crammed in, but I still think this works okay. It could have been a little better, but it keeps the overall vibe that all the other intros kept. Not to mention, the shorter version of the theme song is still really catchy and keeps the best part of the song in there. Not much else to say, it isn't perfect, but it isn't horrible either. Let's move on to number five. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. Number five is gonna go to Total Drama Pocketeo Islands intro. This season is my least favorite of all of the mainline Total Drama seasons in my opinion, but this intro was done fairly well. Yes, it's still capped at 20 seconds, but every character has their own segment here, which I think is great. The transitions are really smooth and the animation fits every character. Not to mention, this intro taking place on a completely different island is cool to see too. This intro obviously doesn't feel as fleshed out as a lot of the other ones, but there's only so much you can do in 20 seconds. I would say this is definitely the best of the shorter intros. <laughs> I wanna be At number 4, we have Total Drama Revenge of the Island, a really great season that returns to the setting of Camp Wawanakwa. This season was the first to introduce a completely new cast of characters, and similar to Total Drama Island, this intro does a great job of showcasing all of them. There is one thing I'd nitpick here, this intro is very similar to Total Drama Island's intro, it follows the same format and transitions, and while that's great and all and doesn't take away from the fact that it's a great intro, it just loses some points for originality. They could have done something a little different here. The intro for Total Drama Island also did a bit of a better job showcasing the camp feel, while this one's more on the goofy and chaotic side. I don't necessarily have a problem with it, but at the end it's just TDI's intro, but a little harder to take seriously. Before we continue on any further, I just want to encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel. I know it's kind of annoying for YouTubers to bring this up, but a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed to my channel, and if you made it this far, I'm sure you'd enjoy my content. I'm planning on making a lot more Total Drama videos like this. It's doing really well for my channel, and it's fun to talk about the show. So if you want to see more content like this, or just help me out as a creator in general, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a nice comment if you want. I've also obviously made some fan Total Drama animations with my own character, so if that's something you'd like to check out, it'll be in the description. Half of you guys aren't doing that. Let's get back to the video. So we're reaching into the top three Total Drama intros. And the number three spot is gonna have to go to Total Drama Actions opening. Now I've talked about how I overall felt about this season in my video where I ranked all of them, but this intro is great in a lot of ways. I've gotta say, this is probably the perfect sequel to Total Drama Island's intro. Everything is balanced out well, and it generally takes a more unique approach. They also do a great job of showing off the theme that's going on here. I've always enjoyed how they utilize the locations in the film lot, and even showcase some of the challenges from some of the episodes. The animation here is also gorgeous. There's some very notable improvements to be seen. Overall, this intro does everything right, but I feel like the next two do things even better. Obviously, Total Drama Island's intro had to be up there on this list. This is considered as such a classic intro. Not to mention, this is the mainline Total Drama intro with the most amount of characters showcased, and they do it amazing. This intro started the trend of showing off every character in a unique way and introduced us to Total Drama's fantastic and iconic theme song. For a first intro, the animation is great. The scenes transition to each part of the island, showcasing where a lot of the campers hang out for most of the season. There's just always been something special about Total Drama Island's intro compared to a lot of other cartoons. I've always been a fan of when cartoons would go out of their way to showcase their characters in a more unique way compared to just compiling scenes from the show. The theme song is memorable, catchy, has good lyrics, and flows perfectly with the way this intro is animated. Definitely one of the most iconic Cartoon Network intros of all time. But there's one more opening that I think stands out from all the rest, and that one is... Yes, the number one spot goes to Total Drama World Tour. I know it might just seem like I'm glazing this season at this point, but this opening is without a doubt the best out of any of them. I don't know why they decided to go this hard with this one, but it was practically made 
perfectly. The theme of this season is the fact that Chris and the old cast are traveling around the world for another million dollars. And the intro sums this up perfectly. I loved seeing everything go from one location to another, along with seeing most of my favorite characters because this cast is great. Even before I became a fan of Total Drama, this intro always stuck with me. I would see World Tour come on at like the age of four, and this intro just always made me happy. But the highlight of this opening obviously had to be the human pyramid thing that was going on on top of the plane with all the characters. Something about this segment of the intro just felt like a celebration of Total Drama. They had never done anything else like it. It's unique and it's different, but it still does such a good job of being a Total Drama intro and an amazing sequel to the first two. Hell, I love this intro so much, I decided to reanimate it a couple years ago on paper. With my own characters, of course, you should check it out in the link in the description. Say what you want about Total Drama World Tour, its opening is without a doubt the most fleshed out and amazing intro in the entire series. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm definitely going to try and release another commentary video of some sort this month. So leave any video ideas you might have in the comments below. I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me on these commentary videos. And I'm really excited to make more for you guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.